It is Monday, which means it is grocery haul day, and the sun is finally shining. What is up you guys? Happy Monday. My name is Kira if you are new and in today's video I am back to share with you my weekly grocery haul and meal plan. You guys, there is a smile on my face because the sun is shining and it was a nice and smooth and easy trip to Walmart. So I did Walmart's grocery pickup. I spent about $125. They had one out of stock item, which was some corn on the cob, which I think I'm just gonna try and hit up like a local stand for that. And then two substitutions. Otherwise, simple, easy, $125, got everything we needed for the week and some extras and that's perfect to hold us over until we do a Trader Joe's next week. So let me take you down to the counter and I'll share with you what I got this time at Walmart's grocery pickup and then we'll get into the meal plan. All right, you guys, so here is your quick overview of what I spent $125 on on Walmart's grocery pickup. And I think we'll start over here in my small little produce section. I still do have a fair amount of produce from what I got last week between Walmart and Costco. So I just got a few things. I did get some mushrooms because I'm going to be making Salisbury steak this week. So I wanted some mushrooms in the gravy. I did get some cherry tomatoes. We're almost out of the char ones that we got last week. I think we go through almost a container a week. So grabbed another one of those. Got a small personal seedless watermelon. Got a big bunch of bananas. Jake asked for some cereal. I haven't bought this for him in a long time. I don't even think I bought this for him since we've lived in this house. But this is the Malta Meal Chocolate Marshmallow Mateys. So it's basically just chocolate lucky charms so went ahead and grabbed that for him got some of the slicing tomatoes well the tomatoes on a vine for you know slicing like sandwiches and stuff we're doing blts this week they will not give me the campari tomatoes for curbside pickup i'm not really sure what's going on with walmart but pretty much half of my regular list you have your my items tab on the walmart grocery pickup app and it pretty much stores all your frequent purchases. So you can just go back through your My Items and reorder things that you've ordered in the past. And it will not give me probably half of my list. And I have over 400 things in my list and half of them say not for curbside pickup. And one of them is the Campari tomatoes. So I did just get the regular tomatoes on the vine. They're good. They're just not as good. But we will deal with that. We got the Taylor Farms Everything Chopped Kit. So it's green leaf lettuce, shredded broccoli, red and Savoy cabbage, mini bagel toasts, carrot, green onions, and everything bagel seasoning. And then it comes with a everything seasoned ranch dressing. And I throw some extra everything with the bagel seasoning in there. And it's just really good. This is the one that pretty much everybody loves. And I think that's because the bulk of it is green leaf lettuce. The ones I get with like kale and stuff like that are pretty much a deterrent for half of them but this seems to be the one that everybody loves so I got that I got another pack of shredded hash browns to share another Jen Chapin recipe with you guys so I grabbed that I grabbed the sea pack jumbo coconut shrimp I'm going to use that with steak on Sunday for Mother's Day just to give myself a little surf and turf because that's my favorite so I grabbed that and then I grabbed some of the Scott paper towels, a six pack. We're down to like two rolls, but next week I'm doing Trader Joe's. So these are the kinds of things I can't really get from there. So I grabbed some things just in case. I grabbed an extra thing of the Homestyle Sum Pulp Tropicana Orange Juice. So I can use that with my Prosecco that I got from Costco for mimosas on Sunday. I got a two pack of cream cheese because I use that in a bunch of recipes. I got another one of these Chobani flips. You guys, this yogurt is so, so good, but I know it's not the healthiest for you, so just limiting myself to one a week is perfect. So this is cinnamon low-fat Greek yogurt with chewy charo dough, frosted cinnamon bites, and charo cookie crumbles, and it's just seriously the perfect flavored yogurt. So I grabbed that for myself. I got another pack of the boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Usually I get one a week to get us through the chicken recipes that I make for the week if I'm not visiting Sam's, which isn't for another two weeks. So this should hold me over. 
I got a pack of the Oscar Mayer bun length Angus beef hot dogs just to have as a quick lunch or dinner. We're getting our second COVID shot this week, so just in case we don't feel right, it's always good to just lean back on some good old mac and cheese and hot dogs. One of you guys wrote me and said that Walmart was carrying Sabret hot dogs now, which are my absolute favorite and a throwback to my childhood working on the hot dog truck with my grandfather on Long Island, but I haven't been able to find them, not on the app, not in the store if I've gone in so I'm crossing my fingers that they come to my neck of the woods because those are the best hot dogs comment down below and let me know if you know about those hot dogs because they seriously are the best I did pick up some of these Keebler ready crust graham cracker little mini pie crust so there's six of these little mini graham crusts in here but I made Jen Chapin's cheese danishes and I felt like there was so much filling left over after only making the one pack of crescent dough so I didn't want to waste all that cream cheese mixture so I put it in a Tupperware and I'm gonna go ahead and make a little mini pineapple upside down cheesecakes I think those are gonna be delicious so I went ahead and picked up those for that two meals for Jake one of the Main Street kitchen fettuccine Alfredo with broccoli and then one of the Marie Collender's a creamy Vermont mac and cheese bowl I got two creamers I just wanted coconut plain old coconut but it's not for curbside pickup so I had to settle for the almond joy and then this I think think is definitely different. I mentioned to you guys last time that I've had Funfetti before, but it was in a blue container. And the original Funfetti just says Funfetti. This one says Funfetti Vanilla Cake. So I don't know if it's a little bit different, but it tasted different to me. It's nice and sweet and creamy, and it goes well in a lot of the various different K-cups that I use. So I grabbed another one of those. I didn't get ice cream at Costco last week, and of course my daughter reminded me that we are out of ice cream sandwiches. So I got the Great Value Variety Pack. I haven't been able to get this on curbside pickup, but this time it was available. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It's got 12 ice cream sandwiches, 12 ice cream bars, and then eight of the chocolate dip cones, which is Mason's favorite. So grabbed that. I grabbed some of the Great Value Greek Vanilla Yogurts for smoothies for my kids. I got the kosher dill Clausen pickles. This is the halves and it's a bigger jar. This was a substitution for me. I just ordered the regular kosher dill pickles in like the 16 ounce jar and they gave me the 32 ounce jar of the halves. So that worked out in our favor. We shall take that. I ordered the Great Value White Cheddar Cheez-Its and they didn't have it so they substituted me with the regular Cheez-Its. I did find the Chick-fil-A sauce, finally I've been looking for that, and I love myself the Chick-fil-A sauce with any kind of nugget, so I grabbed the squeeze bottle of that. I got some tomato soup for when we do BLTs. I'm also gonna be making a corn chowder, but not everybody likes that, so I just got some tomato soup for those who don't. I got some pineapple slices to go with those little graham cracker things to make the cheesecakes. And then I did get a bunch of bread. I don't know why. I was just kind of in the mood. So I got the arrow wheat sub rolls. There's six of them in here. And I thought these would be good for BLTs for some who wanted more of like a softer roll. But I like the ones that are more like an English muffin. Like I love a good ciabatta roll. So I went ahead and picked up the ciabatta rolls for those who want like the crunchier kind of bread to do a BLT and then I got a French baguette I am going to Trader Joe's next week but I just love the way these make croutons I just shared a meal prep video where I shared with you guys how I turn a baguette into croutons and it is so so good by using this kind of bread and I don't think I'll be able to wait until next week to make more croutons we have a lot of salad on the menu for this week and we just love croutons in our salad so I got a French baguette from Walmart to give a try so that I can make some croutons out of it so went ahead and grabbed that I did get a 12 pack of the Gatorade this was out last week which is why I was substituted the other kinds and flavors uh, only Jacob and Maya like the lime cucumber which is exactly what I figured those are the ones who love themselves some cucumber and they said they'll drink the lime ones and the red fruit punch was fine but I prefer orange and my husband loves the green and there's six orange six red and six lemon lime 
They always seem to be giving these each time that we go, and I think that that is so awesome because why not encourage this? But it just says thank you for shopping at Walmart, and then they give you this two pack of disposable masks. And I find that these really are more breathable than all the regular cloth ones that I have tons of, and that's what I've been using for the whole you know past year and change. But I really should have been using these because they are just so much more breathable than the other ones. So grateful for Walmart about that. And then one box of rotini. I need that for a recipe this week. And then I got one thing of the great value chips. We're out of chips in the house. And this really just is the best deal. It's the family variety pack. And it's 18 single bags, three barbecue, three sour cream and onion, two chili cheese corn chips, three nacho cheese Doritos, three Cool Ranch Doritos, and then four of the crunchy cheese doodles. So that just appeases everybody. And for under six bucks, then it's under 30 cents a bag, which I feel like is a good deal for chips. But that, you guys, was it for my $125 to Walmart's grocery pickup. Now, let's get into the meal plan. All right, you guys, so here is the meal plan for Monday, May the 3rd through Sunday, May the 9th. So I didn't get a chance to make Jen's Korean beef tacos while I'm doing it rice bowl form this past week. So I bumped it to today. We're going to make those and I'll be filming that to share with you guys. And then tomorrow we're going to do BLTs and corn chowder. This corn chowder was actually a every plate meal that I made a few months back and it was so, so good that I want to go ahead and recreate it. And I got that can of tomato soup and I have some chicken soup for those who don't want the corn chowder. Uh, on Wednesday it is Cinco de Mayo and we live in Texas so there is amazing Mexican food here and we're also having our second COVID shot that day so just in case that we're not feeling good we're going to just grab some Tex-Mex and then on Thursday I'm going to make some Salisbury steak and then we'll do that with carrots and Jen Chapin's cheesy potatoes as a side dish. On Friday, I'm also going to make a Jen Chapin's goulash, and I'm going to do that with baked bread and salad, plus I'm making another salad of Jen's. So you guys will see on Friday a breakfasty themed video from Jen's recipes, and then in a week or two, you guys will see things like the Korean beef bowls, the goulash, the cheesy potatoes, and the salad that I'm doing. So that's what we're doing for Friday, and then on Saturday, May the 8th, that is my best friend back on Long Island. It's her birthday that day. So happy birthday, babe. I love you. I hope you have a great day. For us for dinner that night, we're going to do chicken fried steak. And whenever I make this recipe, I try my best to replicate the chicken fried steak that I get from the Cracker Barrel. That's probably my favorite thing to get there. And it's just a really yummy, southern flavored, styled fried chicken patty. And then they serve it with that white pepper mill gravy. And it is just so, so good. So I'm in the mood for that with some mac and cheese, green beans, like a real, I have cornbread that's frozen in the freezer. So just a real, you know, Southern style meal. And then Sunday, it is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day out there to all of my mommies, whether you're a mommy to a fur baby, an angel baby, a baby here on earth. I wish you the best day. And for me, my favorite thing is steak and shrimp. Like surf and turf is just my thing. And I got those amazing amazing ribeyes from Costco and that coconut shrimp. So we'll do steak and shrimp. I have some potatoes there that we'll cut into some homemade french fries. We have poutine gravy. So that sounds delicious. And then as long as I can go ahead and score myself some corn on the cob, then I'll do some Mexican street corn and we'll do that all on the barbecue. And it just sounds so amazing. And I still have Godiva lava cakes from, I don't even know, Costco maybe or Sam's or something from a year ago that are still in the cabinet that I haven't made. So we are planning on making those, but that is it, you guys, for this time's a grocery haul and meal plan. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.